Owen Jones claimed Meghan Markle represents a huge threat to him and other activists campaigning for the end of the monarchy due to the Duchess of Sussex boosting the royal family's popularity. Meghan Markle was quick to join other senior members of the royal family in the highest popularity ranks among Britons, placing sixth behind husband Prince Harry, the Queen, and Prince Philip in a little over a year. The YouGov poll questioned 8,954 Britons between June 2018 and June 2019, finding the Duchess of Sussex has gathered much support from the younger generations. Political commentator Owen Jones claimed Meghan's popularity poses a huge threat to him and other Republican activists because of the boost she is providing the family with. Speaking to Jeremy Vine on 5, Mr. Jones said, I would actually prefer a head of state and she is actually a threat to people like me. If the royal family is going to stay popular with a new generation, then they need to change. They need to modernize, they need to reflect and look a bit more like the public they represent. Since joining the royal family in 2018, Meghan Markle became one of the most popular and recognizable figures across the world. The Duchess of Sussex fully embraced her role, taking on several charitable causes and slowly moving away from royal tradition to bring in more modern touches to the monarchy with husband Prince Harry. However, the former American actress has had to conform with some of the strictest requirements of the royal protocol but had faced reportedly struggled to adapt. Royal author Angela Levin earlier this month said, she's very good at talking to people. It's an awful lot to learn and she's very energetic and keen. But it might be good for her if she took a little bit more advice. Before in her life, she was very used to making her own decisions. I do think it's very difficult for her. This is a very strict, traditional path. It takes a while to get used to it. And Meghan's new life as a royal has also faced some intense criticism due to her personal take on her role and her expectations for more privacy from the media. Both the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are known to be very mindful of their privacy but their growing demands have sparked a backlash from royal fans. The couple kept quiet on plans for the birth of their son Archie Harris in Mountbatten, Windsor, choosing to reveal the baby was born hours after they welcomed him. They also chose not to reveal which hospital they used, only letting the public know with the release of Archie's birth certificate when he turned two weeks old. Meghan and Harry also withheld details on Archie's christening at Windsor Castle in July, informing the public that the names of their son's godparents would not be released. Ms. Koenig said, it is very difficult to strike a balance between private and public. The negative coverage of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, especially, the Duchess, may certainly have played a role in their desire keep details private, for fear that the press would hound the godparents. The royal expert added that, the more the couple face criticism, the easier it is for them to guard their privacy. The negative coverage plays right into the Sussex's hands, she said. They don't want to subject their son to this, and they want to raise him largely out of the limelight because he will grow up to live a non-royal life, albeit the grandson of a king, nephew of a king, cousin of a king. But he and any siblings will be living their lives without the royal fanfare.